Hmm. What a pleasant little Goomba. Surely this will not absolutely tear my butthole open. Whoa. He's talking in waves. Get away from that treasure chest, pal. It's mine, see? Don't west don't mess with me. Heart fight! You wanna fight? Are you nuts? You don't wanna mess with me, Heart. Are you sure you wanna fight? Yes. I like making poor decisions. Hey! Welcome back to Paper Mario. Last time I wasted several minutes trying to get a calculator. This time, hopefully, I don't do that. We're starting this episode fighting Anti Guy. What is Anti Guy? He's like a shy guy. But he does a lot of damage. And I mean a lot of damage. Like... Holy cow, he does so much damage. He hurty. He hurty a lot. Alright, so what we do now... Is we use that handy repel gel that I got... A while ago. And with it... I am now completely invincible. Whatever dumb bullcrap anti-guy tries to do. Use your items, kids. Nerd. Ah. Who needs to be good at video games when you can just pay the way to victory? How long does this last again? I don't actually remember how long Repel Gel lasts. Alright, so I have no idea if this is going to be enough to live. So let's just eat some of this fruit that I've had for, like, seven episodes. And, oh, there we go. Just keep slapping them. Ooh, not so tough now that I can time defense, can you? Or are you? That was not how that sentence was supposed to go. And we're fine. How many bitch slaps is it going to take to kill you? Oh. It was that many. Alright. I don't even remember what killing him gets you. Ooh. I want it. Give it to me. What do I need to do? How many badge points do I need? Oh, six. Oh, that's... That's a lot. All right, we're gonna have to level up first. We're gonna have to level up once, and then we'll um, we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, this is the start of um, our answers from the Peach segment coming back. Remember how I said I'm afraid of mushrooms? <laughs> that doesn't look like the sort of thing that bothered Mario. Yeah, I mean, ooh, spooky mushrooms! I'm so scared! It heals five health! Ah! Hello there, pink. That. Alright, so I'm just gonna... Hopefully be able to slaughter every single shy guy that I see and that dares to stand up in my way. By smacking him. Bow smacks do more damage total than my hammer. Like, think about that. How strong are those... Is that Boo's tiny stubby arms? Oh, well. Sayonara. Give me the star points. Put them directly into my hand. Thank you. Ooh, money! Jump. Oh, I remember this. Whee! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you have fun. It's, a, it's very simple. It's the simple things in life. I don't need the most complex gameplay or the most intricate combat. I just need to not get hit by first strikes. Oh, I could die here. Alright, let's, um... 
let's do ourselves some star storming and see how many things die. They don't know how much health Shy Guys have. Okay, it's seven. They have seven health. I've cracked the code. There we go. And now I need one more level up to get the six. Is there a badge I want to de-equip? Would have to be damage dodge, but damage dodge is really nice. I'll de-equip it for now, and then next level up, I'll re-equip it. By, um, and I'll, by increasing, um... By increasing... Badge points again. There we go. It took me a little while, but I got... Whoa, a star piece! I'm observant. It took me a little while, but I was eventually able to speak the English language. It's not the easiest for me. But, you know, I, I keep... I, I try. I try to speak and sound like an intelligent human being. Does it always work? No. Does it often work? I repeat, no. Oh, fuck, a mushroom! Oh, oof. That was a jump scare. And this should be the frying pan. Or, no! Okay, this was something else that got stolen that I forgot to look at. The storeroom for the, um, for the toad shop got stolen. That was a thing that happened. Which I should have remembered, because I had, um... I knew that... Give me that Thunderbolt. I knew that there was more things than just the calculator and the frying pan. But for some darn reason, I did not remember what it was. It was the storeroom. We have to protect capitalism, guys. We can't let it fall into disarray. Star piece. Uh, give me bow back. Whee! Yeah, this is... Part of the problem with, uh, this chapter. Aesthetically, it's neat. It's neat to use Toad Town as the world to go to. The problem is going in and out of the toy box can get kind of annoying. Granted, I did it one more time than I had to because I'd forgotten that, um, the calculator was optional. I thought that was something you needed to get. No, the Toad Key was what you needed to get. The calculator just got you a badge. This is not a shop. This is just someone's house. I committed home invasion. Hey, buckaroo. Oh, Mario, it's you. A shy guy stole my storeroom key. I can't stay in business if I can't get into my storeroom. What in the world will I do? Perish. All right, Mario. You did it. You got back my storeroom key. Thank you so much. You saved my livelihood. Tell you what, take anything you like from the storeroom. It's just a little thank you for getting my key back. Look at this shopkeeper actually treating people kindly. See, this is why you always go for mom and pop shops. Well, there's that toy train. I'm sure that's not important. Oh god, I have too much junk. Uh, what do I want to get rid of for a vault shroom? Uh, uh, the vault shroom, actually. That's a very effective item, but I just don't remember what it's effective against. And that Snow Rage... Um, I don't really need it. Obviously, in case you couldn't tell, when that got us four items that we can just get, and then one unique item, well, you can probably tell what we had to get there. The unique item. Let's just throw that train in there. And... Bam! Thank God that throwing it down a large drop does not damage the contents of the train at all. There is nothing wrong with the train. Look at it. Running. It's going to try to explain to me how to use the train, but I already know. And here we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've already figured out where to go, buddy. I literally figured it, like, it's not that hard. Hit arrow to go in direction of arrow. You know, it's not rocket science. It's train science. So, next stop, Pink Station. Now arriving at Pink Station. Pink Station! Nice. So this is the main way that you explore 
Shy Guy's toy box. By hitting your hammer at the toy conductor. Oh, look at this chest just sitting here. A mailbag! Sweet! I also didn't even know that was stolen. Okay, but the save station is pretty nice. Yeah, basically, you go to a new station, and then when you get back to the- Oh my god, that man is on fire! Well, anyways. You go to the new- st You go to the station, you find the items you need to- Oh my god, that shy guy has seen the horrors of war. He's lost comrades in Vietnam. Pray for him. Slap, 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 slap. And he should be dead. Yeah. So you go to a new station, you get the items that are part of what the people at Toad Town need, you leave the toy box, give them to the people, and you kind of go back and forth. It, it... It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way, because this is about to be a very fat man. I don't like how he looks dead into the camera. I don't- I don't like that. But we also can't go this way yet. Of course, rather than remember that before I go, I remember it after I go. Because I am very intelligent. What we need to do is- I didn't mean to save my game there, I was kind of just doing the spin jump thing and then the save block appeared from on top of me. And this is the second part of the gag. They don't even have Cammy say dialogue, because we get the joke by now. Alright. Holy crap, that's just a regular Shy Guy. I haven't seen too many of those. I do like the creativeness of the Shy Guy designs in this part. How there's regular Shy Guys, but then Balloon Guys, Medic Guys, um... The Anti Guy, the whatever the Vietnam Shy Guy was called. And then the uh, Jester one, the Fire one. Oh, I horribly timed that. Oh, that's just embarrassing. But I'm not gonna horribly time this. Ah, uh, power up. You are very much worth it. And in case you couldn't tell from back to that anti-guy fight, if I did not have the Repel Gel, he would have slaughtered me. There would have... Uh, I would have been dead. So dead. Whoa, going into the background? What is this? Donkey Kong Country? Returns? Oh, Defend Plus. That's cool. But I'm not going to use six badge points to defend. We live in a house that uses defend points to attack. I love the Jester guys, like little... What do you even call that thing with the bells that jesters wear? It's normally their hat, but like the- that jester guy had a ball collar? Also, he's not called jester guy, I just keep calling him that. I don't know what he's- like, I remember this is medic guy, right? Medi guy, sorry. He, uh, must be really into medieval. Oh wow, that's the first time I've messed that up. I mean, it doesn't matter because he's, he's dead, but, you know. I ruined my perfect slap win rate. Or smack, excuse me. Flower! Nice. Let's grab more money, despite the fact that we'll probably never need it. Whee! Okay, we should be at the chest right now. Oh. Ah, right. You have to time it so that when this shy guy goes out of the secret entrance... You go in. That- that- that's the gimmick there. Oh. You're looking, uh... Oh ho! Oh my god. She said, fuck this one shy guy in particular. Oh my god, buddy, you're looking a little Spider-Man far from home over here. Give me coin. Give me item, that's just coin. Huh, what's in this chest? Ice power, alright. That is... helpful? Oh shoot, I... I should have remembered that I had full inventory. No, I don't want this. I have the Thunder Rage, I don't need the Thunder Bolt. This has the frying pan. Yes. 
So with that, we can take that back to the, uh, the chef. And I could just do a cutaway and not make you watch me backtrack all the way, but I'm going to leave it in. Why? It's part of the experience. Because I can't just say, man, this chapter's main thing of having to keep going back can get kind of annoying. I need to, like, you're gonna see it. We're gonna go on this journey together. Because also, every time you try to do this, you have to wait for the cutscene to go. Or you can skip it like I just did. I'm a fool. I forgot you could skip it. It's been a little while since I played Paper Mario, alright? Cut me some slack. Alright, so let's get... Let's get the fuck out of here. And now we have to drop off a mailbag, which that's kind of ironic. And then we have to... Drop off a frying pan. And get a piece of cake for a fat guy. That's that's the way it goes, isn't it? Hello there, don't worry, miss. I have your handy frying pan. Oh, Mario, my dear, dear frying pan. You saved it from the shy... You really couldn't just buy another frying pan? Was that that hard to do? It's a frying pan. You can buy them pretty much anywhere that sells cooking materials. Oh my god, really? You're, you're gonna... I thought that was a key item. Alright, we'll eat this mushroom. I forgot you can't eat items from the start screen. You have to munch them up right there. Alright, give me the cake. Give me your cake, woman. Thank you. This is my most delicious cake. Oh, wow, that's actually kind of sad. Also, she's a widow. My condolences, miss. I'm sure your husband was very well fed. Hi, right, post office. I'm doing your job for you again. Shy Guy stole a full bag of mail from us. We failed in our duty. Come rain or see or snow or Shy Guys. We're supposed to deliver no matter what. Whatever can we do? I don't know. Get mail? Let me give you a small thank you gift. A star piece. Thank you. Oh, while I'm here, I guess I can read mail for party members? Yep. Oh, Gamborio has another letter. Oh, from his dad, from his grandpa. Here you go. Dear Gumbario, how goes the adventure with Mario? Is it fun? Are you being a brave Goomba? Remember to relish your time out in the wide world. Grow wise from your travels. I wish the stars that your adventure will prove to be a fruitful one. If you can, drop in on us old folks now and again. Gooma misses you terribly. I'm looking forward to seeing you as a grown-up. Goompa. Aw, that's adorable. Uh, Bombette. From Dry Dry Railroad? Dear Miss Bombette, We write this letter as a humble request to you, the most worthy and explosive of all the bombs. It's still a long time off, but later this year we'll be staging an opening event for a new Dry Dry Railroad route. We feel the event would be a ga gala bash if we could enlist your, bu uh, your bomb-bursting help. Crowds love fireworks. Anyway, we'll get in touch with you after your adventure ends to confirm the dates. Sincerely, Dry Dry Railroad Transportation Department. Or DDRTD, for short. Alright. I don't- is it offensive to ask a bomb- a bu bomb to be a firework? I don't know, I feel like that's a little below them. Then again, they do just like blowing up, so maybe it's not. Here you go. Dear Lady Bo, thank you for rescuing us from that horrible tub of blubba up on Gusty Gulch. We'd never dreamed we'd meet a boo of your stature. She lives two blocks down the road. Like, how have you never seen her? I'm pretty sure she's been there before. What? <laughs> Anyways, many thanks. When you're done with your quest, we're throwing you a party. Please come. Oh, and please say hi to everyone at Boo's mansion. Alright, that's sweet. I do really like the letters here. They go... They go a little way in making the world feel more, like, alive. Because your actions don't just... You don't complete a chapter and then the events of the chapter never exist again. You get a letter about them and then the events of the chapter never exist again. So it does kind of help... Make it feel like what you're doing has more of an impact than just a bookmark of a greater story. Whee! 
Alright. So now that we have the cake, let's go give the cake that was made especially for us from a woman who was internally grateful to us that broke her rule of never making cake again after her husband died. Let's do the right thing to do and give it away immediately. It's just basic human respect, honestly. Woo! Wee! Yahoo! Oh, hold that pyro guy. I'll get to you in a second. Yeah, I don't need to fight you. I already have. And hey there, Buckaroo. You seem rotund. Everybody calls me Gourmet Guy. I don't know why. I'm just an ordinary, food loving, shy guy. You have a caveat. What the fuck do you think you are? Miles Edgeworth? No one can make that look good except Miles Edgeworth. Oh, it's a hanker. He's a napkin. It's not a, one of them caveats, cavars. Whatever the fuck they're called. The uh, neckerchief thing that Miles Edgeworth wears. And it's here. Eat this cake. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Delicious. This is lip smacking good. Yeah, fun fact, if you feed a fat person a cake, they can walk in the air. That's a secret, secret power they have. I, I'm not gonna question what anything else I just saw. Cookbook. Oh yeah, that's the item that if you give it to the chef lady, she can now cook involving two ingredients, and you can make really powerful healing items that I probably won't use because I'm lazy and I'm just gonna buy an Ultra Shroom. But they're there. And that's the important part. They are an option. Oh, it's Groove Guy. Smack, 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 smook. Oh, he can make you dizzy and not able to perform for a turn. Oh, God. Okay, so I forgot that he just runs at you. I believe he's called Pyro Guy, because, you know, he, he's on fire. Which, like, gotta give you credit, that's some pretty good stunt work. Like, have you ever been on fire? Fire stunts are not easy to do, so if you ever see someone on fire in, like, a movie or a TV show, that's some pretty cool shit. Uh, I think the world record for the longest fire stunt is... Oh, wait, I can't- I can't hold that dial. I was smart enough to find a secret block and not smart enough to reap the rewards. The true clown was me. Was, I think, like, one of the longest fire stunts in the world was, um... Freddy vs. Jason, in that scene when Jason is literally on fire as, um, he's in a patch of a bunch of, you know, the classic high school kid getting drunk and partying. You know. You know, a group of kids where Freddy... Uh, not Freddy. Where Jason Voorhees makes his normal, normal rounds. And he was on fire for, like, I think several minutes, even. I timed that so bad. Sky Guy. I mean, he's not really in the sky, I'd say. I mean, he is above ground, but I'd more so say he's just kind of, like, mildly above the ground guy would be a more, uh apt description, I think. I thought I hit that box and Bo came out. Alright, well. Oh, this is not what I want to see. So I'll just, I'm just going to use the Star Storm right here. Oh, the Snowman Doll. The Snowman Doll would have literally just wiped them all because they're weak to ice. Wait. Well... I mean, they're dead. Alright, they're dead. It doesn't matter what would have been smarter. It worked. Yeah, I really should be using these items. That oh my god, I had inventory space because I used the cake. And the cake wasn't a key item. I just let that dizzy dial go to waste for nothing. Oh my god, that... Oh, that... Wait, wait, hold on. Maybe I can redeem myself because the cookbook might not be... No, the cookbook's a key item. I had inventory space. Man. 
It's only when you start doing Let's Plays repeatedly and... I guess for a living at this point. I mean... Oh wait, because I didn't grab the item, it didn't go away! I'm not a fool at all! You're the fool for thinking I was a fool! And if you didn't think I was a fool... Why? Have you seen me play this game? I'm pretty fucking stupid. Oh! That's mad- Oh fuck, I forgot about him. That's okay. We are A-okay. I am... Super intelligent. Just gonna smick smack smicky smook you. And then medic guy is going to try to hurt me. And it's just not gonna work. There's just no way, buddy. Oh yeah, I guess I don't have to use power- well no, power smash does 7 damage. I was like, I don't have to use power smash anymore, cause like... Regular jump does 6, but no, all the shy guys have 7 health. So Power Smash or Power Jump is the only way Mario can kill them in a single shot. Sorry, if kill is too harsh. Uh, unalive them. Alright. We are... I think we can end the episode right there? You know what? No. Let's... Let's go to Green Station. Also, why do you have to hit the thing with the hammer if you're gonna make me talk to him anyway? Why not just have him bring up a menu of every possible station? That... That doesn't make any sense. Alright. Oh, thank goodness, we got to another save block. It's been a while since the last one. Alright, since we've done so much since the last time I thought I was gonna end the episode, I'm gonna end the episode right here. Thank you guys very much for watching, and um... Next time, we'll get a new party member, question mark? Oh wow, I wonder how to solve this puzzle. Actually, I don't think- is it as easy as just... Was it just that easy? I don't think that's what was supposed to happen. Or maybe it was. Hang on, let me do the classic walk out and then walk back in. Ah! She's making a... can of soda? You know, the backflip. That was not the correct thing to do. Also, wow, I sure said I was going to end the episode, and then I didn't end the episode. Hey, I have a Patreon, and if you want to give me money and help support the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Link's in the description. I also have a Discord server, so you can be cool there too. Alright, time for the end of the episode, meme. I know that's why you're here.